Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy. I'm Krista Don One, and I am back with another video. Kevin Durant and Draymond Green got into another heated exchange after their team, the Golden State Warriors, lost to the Sacramento Kings, all right? Now, after this game, Draymond Green was telling reporters, quote, it wasn't that serious. Uh, even though you can clearly tell in the video, it was definitely serious. Both of these brothers have issues with one another. But Draymond Green told reporters it wasn't that serious. And basically, he was telling Kevin Durant to shoot more. Kevin Durant only took 10 shots, all right? And Draymond Green expects Kevin Durant to shoot and pull up more. Now, I have stated this for the record. And I'm about to state it again. But this year's Golden State Warriors team doesn't have a chance in hell to beat or defend last year's Golden State Warriors. I'm about to explain why. Last year's Golden State Warriors team had a deeper bench, better chemistry, plus they had big men to clog the middle, particularly Andrew Bogut, all right? Now, Draymond Green sees the writing on the wall. He knows that his squad is going to have a problem dealing with big men, not to mention their lackluster defensive help, all right? It's just not as sharp and as quick as it was last year, all right? That's why he's giving Kevin Durant the green light to shoot to his heart desire. But Kevin Durant is not cut from that same type of cloth. Kevin Durant is a passive type of player. He believes in the flow of the offense, allowing everyone a chance to make a play, allowing everyone to move with the ball. He is not that type of player that's going to grab the ball and get his. He believes in the system, all right? Kevin Durant is not built that way. And Draymond Green, that's the reason why Draymond Green and Kevin Durant are having issues this year because Draymond Green is trying to make Kevin Durant something that he is not, all right? Now, if you have a team like the Golden State Warriors and you have weapons galore when you're talking about Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Kevin Durant, Thompson even, when you have those type of brothers that can jack it up anywhere their heart desire, you have this mentality of, I can shoot my way out of issues. You can probably shoot your way out of a slump. You can shoot your way out of an opposing team's hot streak. But the one thing you cannot do is shoot your way out of your team weaknesses. And the Golden State Warriors' weaknesses are the, they, they do not have a big man in the middle. It doesn't matter how many threes you try to jack up. It really doesn't matter how many twos you can jack up. If you do not have a big man that can clog up the middle, grab the rebound, stop the opposing team from making a rebound or making second chance plays, you're going to be in a issue. You're going to be in a pickle. Now, by saying all this, does that mean that the Golden State Warriors do not have a chance in hell to repeat and be in the Western Conference Finals? That's not what I'm saying. It's just the Golden State Warriors are going to have a hard hill to climb to overcome if they don't make the type of move that's going to give them a big man, all right? But guys, tell me what you think out there. Rate, comment, subscribe. It's your boy. I'm Krista Don One, and I am able.